They inflict a debuff. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's hope this works while recording. Um, so Thrawn, Piet, Gar, ISC, and I will show Short Trooper just because I have his Datacron, and I'm gonna match Datacron for Datacron. Honestly, if you have a Datacron, use it. Like, if you don't have a lot of Datacrons, it makes sense, but if you do have a Datacron, it doesn't hurt to use them, because it's always going to make your team better anyways. Like, look at that. I have a lot of, I have some crit damage, but I also have tenacity and potency, so, yeah, my tenacity is up there <laughs> for some. Um, ah, this is the Boba Fett one. Let's see, where's his potency at with this Datacron? Uh, 63%. I just upped mine to... Where is Admiral Piet at tenacity with the data crown? Uh, 180, so he should resist that AoE ability block. All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> so, first and foremost, we got to get in the battle. Tick tock, game tick tock. <laughs> and then we will go into. So, let's see what happens. I like to also pull this up. So, Thrawn will immediately go, and it the turn meter, or. The turn order doesn't matter because I got hit by Thrawn there. How or they hit Thrawn there, but they could have hit anyone else. So a we days there. You see days. There's the ability block. Okay, I resist the ability block, which that's why I do. I am thinking of remodding Piet, but I got to have a lot of God Mod rolls. So this T, this is your friend right there. Boom. I do like doing this just because the crit immunity or crit yeah crit immunity is very handy. Okay, I don't like, the, I will say there's one thing you do want to be careful with is if you constantly keep stripping their turn meter, they do get pro either bonus protection or protection. Up. Look at that, look, look at that. That was a lot of health, gone. And then I think, yeah, ISC is, oh no, he's not, okay. Or is still, yeah. That buff there, deadly bluff is going to cost. You. Oh, look at that, that doubt crown's coming in handy. Let's see. I want to strip boss of you. Come on. Let's. I like you keep stay locked down. Let's heal everybody up. Boom down. Sorry if that was a little too loud. <laughs> Let's see, buff immunity. Yep. And then you just mow these guys down. Because these, as long as Kersantan is fractured, you see right there, there's bonus protection. Um, and then another thing you like, I like doing is swapping, and you're dead. Oh, thank you for killing yourself off there. See, that's the advantage of the tenacity. Let's, just in case, I like that. And then, I got it. And you also got to be careful because if they keep using their special abilities, Rancor can go to town on you. And yeah. And this is why Moff, uh, Moff Gideon isn't bad either, because they reduce the damage. Oh, 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 yeah, there we go. There we go. Again, Shore Trooper wants to... Oh, that's another advantage. If you can dispel the speed up from Thrawn's basic... You got an ability block right there. Isn't that a beauty? <clears throat> now, sometimes it's best to just go straight after uh, Chrysanthemum. But, like... I can kill Jabba. Usually, you want to get, get after Chrysanthemum. Because if he starts going to town uh, using some abilities, you could trigger um, Jabba's ultimate. Boom. Right there. Pretty solid. Again, that's with Shore Trooper. Um, I have other videos, and as well as Lord Bane, he has other videos showing Moff Gideon, just because Moff Gideon does provide 
damage reduction. So something to keep in mind. But again, I just I digress. This is it's a fun team. It is a fun team. I would highly recommend building it up.